Oh, that's an interesting video. I want to look at that. The downfall of DJ Mule. The downfall of DJ Mule. Start organizing. Because Pebbles has made a video that actually has some interesting receipts in it. So we can take a look at that. Mm. Or I could be doing more stuff about unions or, you know, how to get involved with direct action. But... Maybe you should. Maybe you should have. Well, I had a good run. Oh, well. Oh, well. Okay, we're actually... This is actually interesting because we can directly compare how Keffels will approach the, the topic of DJ Mule to how Chad Logic approached it. See, we can make a direct comparison between these two creators and well, do a little bit of a judgment call on who, who approached the topic better. What do you think? Do you have any predictions? Do you think Chad Logic approached the topic better? Do you think that Keffels did? What do you think? What do you reckon? What do you reckon? So it is when Demon Mama reacted. So what do you reckon? Who did a better approach to the subject? What do you reckon? I've been going through the YouTube comments of my most recent video where I announced my detransition into a commentary YouTuber, and the message has been received loud and clear. I'm going to continue with this style of content for a while to see how things go. I'm going to provide you all with the okay. alternate ending for the story of Leafy. One where transition saved her, and she got off drugs and didn't fry all of her brain cells. In today's video, I want to talk about a lesser known content creator, but one whose entire notoriety is based on lying about people and has accumulated- in This is interesting because this reminds- like, this is a style. This is a style of presentation. Incredibly toxic reputation. I'm talking, of course, about the Dr. Robotnik lookalike himself, DJ Mule. At the beginning oh, of the year, God. I released a video about him called the most. He also looks like uh, Dragon Ball character Muten Roshi, you know? disgusting video essayist on the left, and I'll leave a link to that video in the description. Recently, DJ Mule made the brave and courageous decision to retire from full-time content creation. Oh and by that, I mean no one actually liked his content, and he was riding off of the notoriety of abuse apologia and slandering other content creators as abusers and pedophiles to his audience of woke scolds that evidently didn't like him enough to actually support him as a creator. Before I recap Damn. some of the bigger and more lesser-known dramas surrounding DJ Mule, my YouTube analytics tells me that I know where you live, so please subscribe to my channel. It's free to do, helps me out a lot, and if you don't, I'm going to- You should subscribe to me. But yeah, I, I've said my piece. I actually think that the drama, the slander, contributed, contributed to his wedding and to people not supporting him much more than any of his content would or could. Yeah. Well, I had a good run as a full-time content creator, but I think I'm gonna have to search for a job, unfortunately. This month is not looking good for donos once again. Will Defo still keep creating, but it's absolutely gonna be less frequent. Thanks to everyone who's supported. Thank God. Wow, you can pretend to be a pro a little more convincingly now. Lurping Lefty gets his first job. How exciting. Have you tried not doing abuse apologia in an attempt to make money? Good luck. Also, is it apologia or, or apologia? Job search. Hope you never come back to YouTube. You will be remembered as one of the most toxic influences on the online left, using the aesthetics of progressivism to damn abuser and promote lies and harassment towards the victim. Reap what you Brutal. sow, chief. Spoken like a true abuser. The only thing I abuse is DoorDash. See, see, I told you, people. It wasn't that people didn't like his content. It was that people just don't like abusers. That's it. It wasn't about the content, it was about the abuse, the slander, you know?
First Flamenco, now DJ Mule. Xander Hall sent these men who crossed him to the literal streets using nothing but his mind, patience, and persistence to outplay them. When will he finally take an L? Too bad not even support from FT Signifier was enough to save him off my ass off. It's time for an honest conversation about being a full-time content creator. The truth is, DJ Mule was never a full-time content creator. It was at best a hobby for him. He has 200,000 views in total over two years of content, half of which come from two drama content cycle videos he's made in desperation for relevance. In the past three months, he has streamed 28 days, averaging 43 viewers. Sure, there are a handful of people who support him on Patreon, but these are not full-time job numbers. Soon after. I have said literally nothing about drama or debate bros for literally six months. I've banned people even in my own community from wanting me to talk about them. Hey, me. Hey, me back. Who are we talking about? We are looking at a couple's video about DJ Mule. We're, we're, we're looking at a Kefl's vid on DJ Mule. Yeah, their fans are all here like vultures shrieking with glee that I'm going through financial difficulty. Jesus. These fuckers are sick in the head. The only issue they have with me is that I made a video criticizing guy who has simply done some insanely bad shit. And at the end of that video, I even say I don't want anything bad to happen to the guy or even for people to cancel him. But for some reason, it seems to be the worst crime of all time to them and they've been desperate for me to leave the internet since uh... then. Well, I got news for them. I might need to get a job, but if they think for a second I won't be making content alongside that, they're fucking dumber than I thought. I Jesus. So sad. The first started is an apology. <laughs> God. But yeah, I, I'm willing to bet that Kefos is going to cover this better than... I'm willing to at least bet that Kefos is not gonna make DJ Mule look good in her video. I haven't made anything worth watching since my induction abuse apology video and jokes on you. I'm going to keep making that content nobody watches. Damn. That's brutal. I haven't made anything worth watching since my dog shit abuse upload your video and jokes on you. I'm going to keep making that content nobody watches. Okay. Okay, I... I know it's nitpicking, but is it apologia or is it apologia or are both sort of... This is the first time I've heard this word pronounced like this, is all I'm saying. I've never heard the word pronounced like this, it is, is, is all I'm saying, okay? I'm not... Do you know what I mean? Do you understand what I mean? So needless to say, Twitter was pretty ecstatic about the news. Honestly, I deserve a medal for sifting through all of the Twitter threads about this and getting brain cancer, just to give you oh, a little gosh. glimpse of what the reaction looked like so I can spare oh, you from man. having to do it yourself. The thing about content creation is that it's a pretty unstable job. And I can say this as it's been my full-time job for over two years now. You have to actually have a personality and you can't just define yourself in opposition to something else. Nice. Do I have a person? I think I have a personality. I have a, like... Say what you want, I do think I have a little bit of a personality, even if some people sort of take parts of my personality and call me a quote-unquote schizo. Cough, cough, chud logic, it's cough, lo it, it's chud logic. Both pronunciations are fine, okay. All right, all right, I, I believe you, I trust your judgment on this. It's like with the whole data and data thing. The only way you can survive is to adapt and to change, and that's something DJ Mule can't do. The only notoriety he's gained in his time online is from two drama cycles by creating unique and original videos such as Bosch is not your ally. Bye. And even more shocking, Xander Hall is not your ally. Wow, who could have saw that coming? The problem with so many of these smaller content nice. creators in the political live streamer scene is that they have nothing unique or original to say and only pander to tender queers and woke scolds, defining themselves almost entirely in opposition to other content. Wait, I'm a small kind content creator. And I'm not sure I do any of those things, do I? Do I do any of those things? I 
I mean, okay, I will admit. Oh, this you will grow with time. Why? Thank you. I will tell you, I will admit one thing. I do position myself in a position to people like Lav. I do do that. Love water and blueberries. That was also true. So I guess to a degree guilty as charged. Because I do sort of position myself in a position to a person like Lav. And I'm not sure if this is what Kefels is talking about exactly. Creators acting like the internet is just one big town hall instead of thousands upon thousands of micro communities that all intermingle with each other. True. But guess what, Incel Robotnik? That's not how the internet works. Vosh having viewers and Destiny having viewers and any other streamer or content creator having viewers that you do not like does not take oh away God. from you having viewers. And even if it did, you wouldn't want their viewers in your audience anyways. Except you don't even have viewers. Because while you constantly denounce these content creators as supposed clan members, here's who your best friend and Red Planet podcast co-host is. Okay, so maybe since you know literally nothing... Oh, God. ...probably, you know, not try to present yourself as a person that knows anything. Also, clearly white, clearly racist. You can't think of a single... You can't think of a single possible form of anti-black racism. If you found me a black bisexual man, I might throw up in my mouth at the thought Jesus. of sexual uh, contact with them. You can't hate gay people anymore. Why not? I want to hate whoever the fuck I want to hate. I, for one, would never, I wouldn't have, I would okay. be involved with a guy who's bisexual. All right. I'm just, like, having sex with other guys, and then he's like, oh, maybe I'll try having sex with you. I'm like, oh. I want to hate a person because they're wearing Crocs. Why can't I hate a person because they, because they, because of whatever else trivial? Re if that reason is trivial, tr oh, wow! I, if I can hate a person for wearing Jesus Christ, yeah, the these particular quotes never cease to leave me speechless. I'm gonna be honest. Crocs. That's an incredibly Damn. trivial reason. And then people Damn. talk about, me about how stupid it is for me to hate an entire person oh, God. because of the Crocs they wear. But you yeah. see me fuck, I will hate the fuck out of that Croc wearing freak. I think that speaks for itself. And I have no qualms about it. Now to DJ Mule's credit, he does go to bat for his friend, but he makes up a fictional Gamergate-esque narrative. I mean, come on people, you can clearly see that this is absurd and has no basis in reality. It is simply the systematic destruction of a woman on the internet simply because she chose to be outspoken and make political content. True. Seriously. The last oh, time course. I remembered, none of the victims of Gamergate ever said anything as reprehensible as white people are only attracted to other white people because of evolution. And oh, God. Want to date black she had a whole debate about it with Destiny. I remember that. Like, those... Mm. God. Oh yes, the biggest progressive people. I'm like that. That's her argument. It's fucking insane. She literally transitioned into Adolf Hitler. That's a huge section of people to just completely write off as unattractive, and it just seems like kind of strange. Like, is it literally like just the skin color is like unattractive to you? Like, do you, I don't know. It just seems it's like as a weird simple as evolutionarily, we want to fucking propagate our fucking like shit, and so propagating our own fucking shit involves finding people that are similar to our own shit. This is what happens when illiterate people speak on by. Biology, genes, and anything really, really, really disappointing. What is, oh man. So if you've gotten this far in the video, you might think I'm being cruel or disproportionately mean towards DJ Mule. Like maybe he's just an idiot who also can't get laid and thinks white knighting for girl Hitler can help him in this endeavor. But no, endeavor. he's actually an incredibly malicious person, and I'll show you why. Before I talk about the big Xander Hell drama that he is mostly- like, This is so... I'm gonna return to this a bit, okay? This is so pathetic on Chad Logic's part that he could not point to any of this. That he had to, like, talk about how 
DJ Mule is not really a full-time content creator. On his bad stats, oh, he's not making money. Who cares about that, man? Who cares? Nobody does. Nobody cares about that stuff. That's not the crux of the issue. That's not the main point of it all. Genetically speaking, mixed race people tend to be healthier because of genetic diversity. Right? Like, nobody cares about Chad, the, the whole Chad Logic's nonsense that he, that he went through gleefully. Known for, I want to talk about the lesser known drama between DJ Mule and myself because okay. of him irresponsibly pedo jacketing another streamer named Chud Logic. When okay. I was new to the political live streaming scene, like Chud Logic just mentioned this in passing in his own video while being busy analyzing DJ Mule's. Oh, Barry! Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, fake Alec, uh, fake Alec Hell Parker. I'm donating to the to make DJ Mule mad and food for Lucy fun. Thank you so much for the donation. Thank you so so much, especially since I'll be getting a new camera on Monday so that I can. Oh, we're this is like a, I'm making like a how do you call it? Uh, and and and. and an announcement, that's the word, an announcement, that on Monday, if you will tune in, you will see me on camera once again, because on Monday, we are going to be, we are going to be on Monday, Monday we are going to be testing the new camera that I'm getting. We're going to look forward to that. We're going to be testing the new camera. This should be nice. My hand will no longer be turning into like a smudge when I move it. I would never donate a cent to Bad Bunny, let alone $5. See ya. We'll see you on there. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Helps me a lot. I'm actually full, full disclosure... Uh, full disclosure, I am thinking about, because it's been going pretty well with the streaming, you know, so I've been really thinking about when my mom comes out of the rehab place to do something really nice for her, you know, maybe take her some someplace nice for a trip, you know? It is like a, a little bit of a plan that I'm considering. Oh, I'm quiet? Oh, wait! Oh my god, I can now... Wait, my... My audio is normal now. I can just... Oh my, because my audio has been lowered because I had trouble with YouTube, but I don't have any trouble with YouTube audio anymore. I fixed it, which means that I can just up my microphone volume to normal now. You're right. Thank you. Thank you for telling me this. Okay, I've upped my, I've upped my volume to normal levels now. Oh, thank you. We've been talking. Oh, you want us? You want a heart melter? Like my mom talked to me recently when I went when I went to her in the rehab place, you know. And she told me that she was staying up at night and thinking about things, you know. And she told me how she feels about. Wanting to live life more positively. And she, unprompted, which was a big surprise to me, told me a pretty huge 
trans right are like sentiment, you know? She gave me a pretty big trans right sentiment by saying, she told me that mm, there are people that say, I'd rather have a dead daughter or a dead son that she heard this sentiment a few times. Maybe it was repeated in Poland a few times, but, but she said she heard this sentiment a few times and she sort of said that she kind of feels like she sort of gets the sentiment but it sort of feels like a mixture of uh, resignation with a forced sort of acceptance you know Which I actually sort of agree with this, you know? What do you think? Do you agree with my mom on this or or not? Do you feel like you agree with my mom on this? Or do you disagree? I, I actually sort of agree with this sentiment, you know? It does feel like this sort of like resignation to the fact and sort of a yeah, if sort of a forced sort of acceptance, you know. If I ever have a gay son, I'm gonna going to play that one clip from Community when he comes out. So, what do you think? Do you do you agree with this or? I want to hear your, want to hear your thoughts, my dear chat. I want to hear your thoughts on this chat. I want to know your thoughts. If you agree with my mom or, or not. I'm gonna give you the full disclosure of telling you that I do sort of, I do sort of agree with my mom on this. She did say she understands the sentiment, but it's, but yeah. DJ Mule and I were Twitter mutuals, and I even once appeared on the Red Planet podcast alongside him and the streamer formerly known as Bad Bunny. I trusted them. And because of that trust, when I saw DJ Mule call Chud Logic a pedophile, I didn't hold back saying as much on my stream. Mm -hmm. like racism or Pretty sure that guy is that. like a pedophile. So, but CTV, like, how about actually, yourself? Uh, yeah, no, no, that was fake, all right. Or Infinity Acre Wood, right? So the I never rolled with it because like, cause, like, I don't know if it's actually true. I didn't actually look into it. I just have a lot of people around me like convinced he's a pedophile. But knowing, uh, right, okay, knowing okay. that I have been pedo-jacketed before, I don't feel comfortable like 100% saying yes, he is in fact a pedophile. Oh, so you just say, I think he's a pedophile and that's okay then. Excellent. Good to know. I later found out, however, that this was misinformation and I confronted him in DMs to tell him about how much I was harassed by using oh, gosh. the he provided to me. Fake I Kyle Parker. DMs in a video on my channel called Bad Bunny. If he comes out to his mom before me and him, are going to have a... What if he just comes out to you both at the same time. Is that okay? Is it okay if he comes out to you both at the same time? Any liar, grifter, manipulator, and I'll leave the timestamps of the full DM leak in the description. I'm gonna show you Chud Logic and Xander Hall's reaction. So you guys may not be aware of this, but like when you get into drama with another streamer, uh, which obviously Keppels has gotten into a lot of drama with uh, with um, Chud Logic. You're scrolling through Twitter and you stumble across what appears to be a thread of evidence. This person who you are having beef with is actually a pedophile. You're you're pretty likely to be like, whoa, okay, all right. Well, I just got handed the W. That just got a just got a point to this, and I've won. Oh, I've won I the see. Drama. I've won the debate. Like like favorite parent. It seems like you've had like a W handed to you. Maybe golden platter. So I can't really blame Keffels for trying to take it. <laughs> <laughs> so the plot thickens, guys. The plot thickens. The reason that Keffels 
said that about me on stream. So we've said we've had enough of Chad Logic, but Chad Logic has returned to us like a boomerang. I swear. He said it once as a joke, but all roads lead to Chad Logic. I thought that it just came because it. This is the thing, and this is very revealing for me. I thought that it came out of nowhere. By earning, okay. Careful by earning it, not by right. And I thought maybe she was alluding. I mean, I guess that's a nice thing to aspire to. For your child to really love you, you know? The drama that I was involved in. But to like, look up to you. I didn't realize that this person had said it to her. So, so actually, it was DJ Mule that had told her this. And she just repeated the claim on stream. Unbelievable. I actually was like pretty amicable with the guy. Um, I think then the DJ you know, Mule allegations came out, and he obviously sided super hard against me, which you know a lot of people did. It is what it is. W wasn't the girl in question thirty years old? There were there were like two girls. One was thirty years old, and the other definitively lied to Chud Logic's face about her age. Come on, man. Like, that evidence is out there. Uh, see, DJ Mule has a habit of, you know, lying, kind of making shit up, even though there's already pretty substantial hard evidence to debunk whatever claims he's trying to make about people. Well, what do you know? Since, yeah, she did apologize to me. But then since then, he is like, at every opportunity that's, that's plausible to do so, you know, obviously, he is a completely failed loser content creator. Oh, wow, well, what do you know? Has, like, like in a future site. lineup of debate streamers in his mind. <laughs> An Avengers lineup. It's like me, Vosh, uh, I, I don't even, like, probably Demon Mama, maybe? Funnily enough, it was actually Demon Mama. <laughs> this is like a little while ago. Demon Mama asked me to raid a charity stream. And I thought, oh, there you go. Sure, I'll already charity stream. Why not? And it was Bad Bunny's. He kept Demon Mama's name out of his newest video. By the way, he's not as comfortable anymore with with saying that it was Demon Mama. I guess not to get sappy, but if but if I ever have a kid, I want to be their hero, not some other dude. I want to be the person they look up to. Yeah, you're f maybe, maybe, or maybe not. Maybe you'll be well prepared for that to happen. You know, maybe you're just setting yourself up to be prepared. Charity stream. Um, and even though, even at that time, I was a bit like, Ooh, I mean, now I've obviously got very strong opinions on Bad Bunny, but back then I was a bit like, oh, seems like a bit of a bitch. You know, that was kind of my perspective, but whatever. I'll raid a charity stream anyway, just to do the right thing. Okay. So, raided a charity stream. She's like, oh, hey, Chad Logic, thanks for the raid. You know, kind of normal, like. Okay. And there's fucking DJ Mule fellas. They're like with a <laughs> DJ face like Mule. Ass. He's not happy with it, clearly. Oh, and I God. know that DJ Mule is someone that has spoken hardly against me, quite hard against me with the allegations. And I just sort of like just left, didn't say anything and just thought nothing more of it, right? All right. A few days later, DJ Mule puts out this tweet and he's like, just to remind everyone, Chad Logic's a groomer. And Jesus. kind of tries to relitigate the whole thing. And back why, it. why couldn't Chad Logic talk more about this rather than the nonsensical babble about how DJ Mural was not a full time creator? So, it's so ridiculous. The se sequence of events I had in good faith raided a charity stream. Okay, just because it's a charity stream. Obviously, didn't want to bring any drama into it. Didn't want to, you know, literally could have just raided it and left it at that, and that was that. Okay. But no, this fucker has to go out and put a thread out and call me a groomer again, trying to relitigate it, like, months later. Look at this, like, this is how these people operate. They're so fucking dishonest, and they come in, and they're little, oh, oh, I'm so sorry that happened. I never would have asked you to do that. I really appreciate you, though. And then look how quick the time like, changes. Like, I appreciate what you do a lot, and you defo put yourself in the crosshairs with that. But, like, yeah, Scumbags. it's a super fucked up situation, and he is a groomer. Um, and I, I really am sad that Keppel's had to get the blowback for this, because, you know, while, yes, you know, a responsibility for spreading misinfo and all of that, and, yes, it did need to be hauled out, very clearly you can tell here from this private in oh, no. interaction Kethels is pretty upset that she 
unknowingly spread this info, which has harmed her credibility. Now, does this mean that there's a learning, like, lesson to come from this? Obviously, yeah. Um, but it goes to show... Yeah. ...just how much... Chad doesn't actually care if he would have, like... ...a liar this DJ Mule guy is. You can't take him seriously. I'm gonna be honest with you, right? In this situation, I don't think the careful has really done anything wrong. Like, you know, she wanted some more information because she felt that she'd been misled in regards to my situation from tweets he'd put out. Um, and he provided the information, and then 12 hours later, he's fucking reing in, re -in, in her DMs. Careful's is right. Why should like why should she trust you? You've put out a piece of information that even people within their own community were disagreeing with. If you look at a chat when she called me that, people were saying, hang on a sec, hang on a sec, hang on a sec. You know, that's a scary idea that he actually ends up, pe the, the online left forgets about these lies and like right. a year from now, he falsely accuses someone else and people buy it. Mm -hmm. it's a scary idea. It, it is say, a bit scary. I'm glad that making content isn't financially viable anymore for DJ Mule. He's a disgusting person who claims that he wants nothing to do with drama and would rather do political organizing and mutual aid and all sorts of- People that say that usually exclusively depend on drama. Real activist stuff. But here's the thing. No one stopped him from doing that. Engaging in drama was entirely 100% his own decision, and it was a decision he made because he realized it was good for views. The problem is, the moment that drama isn't relevant anymore, no one wants to stick around for his smug face and terrible opinions. Uh -oh. And this isn't even getting into the hit piece he did on Xander Hall. Well, I don't want to rehash every single thing about this, there are a few things I want to go over. Yeah. First of all, he automatically assumed Xander Hall was lying about her ex being addicted to meth in a video essay that he said he spent months researching, hmm. which Merrick was able to confirm in literally less than 30 seconds. The, anyway, he says that in the police report that she was definitely done for methamphetamine for being in possession. Look at these police reports. It doesn't say in the police report that she was definitely done for methamphetamine. Now, look at these police reports. It doesn't say anywhere here that she was done for meth. It says that she was done for being in possession of a controlled substance. You do know what a controlled substance is, don't you, Xander Hall? Many, 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 many things. But no, Xander Man needs you to think that it is meth. You know, the bad drug that all the crazy, unhinged druggies do. All the crazy, unhinged druggies that steal things and hurt people and rob people and rape people. Just so they can get their fix. And making out that Lani is a person like that would... <sighs> Oh man. Uh, Merrick. I would like to talk to Merrick, by the way. Oh, oh, sorry, controlled substance. Okay, yeah. Um, so let's see, 11, 377. What is gonna happen? What is it about? Oh my god. Oh, god. oh my fucking god. Oh gosh. No fucking way. No and yet. Fucking way. Look at that. Possession of methamphetamine. Well, what somebody do you know? This. Somebody needs to fucking clip this. Holy shit, somebody fucking clip that. Oh, you're kidding me. You weasley little fucking liar. I just want to take a second oh. to point out how awful this guy oh. is in so many different ways. He's Xander Hall lying about her ex, is Zan lying about something else, or his couples. <laughs> the joke is couples misspoke. Supposed to be a leftist, but then he makes a cheap shot at Xander Hall saying he doesn't think Xander Hall attended college, which can only make you- Oh, come on. Down on anyone from a poor family or anyone who struggled with a learning disability with his shit-eating grin. I'm pretty fucking sure that Xander Hall didn't go to college, so I don't know how he knows what an actual frat house party is, but- Oh, come on. Oh, f oh fuck off. Like, actually, actually fuck off. Oh, man. What a douche. What an actual douchebag. Anyway, that's by the by. Or the fact by that Xander Hall should have makeup sex with his abusive ex, which is just like, what the fuck, dude? No debrief, no makeup sex. Debrief. Don't sweep it all under the carpet. Don't even think about your poor, homeless ex-girlfriend. But the funniest part of this entire video is him trying to attack Xander Hall for saying his ex would leave rotten food in the fridge. He complains that all the food in the fridge would go bad, and I'm not being funny, man, but like, Xander Hall, have you never been in control of a fridge in your entire life? 
It happens all the time because unfortunately capitalism doesn't allow us a lot of time to actually address things like that. Plus, if you've got ADHD like me, Planning and cooking is such a drama. Like, cooking is a whole ass thing, dude. Lots of people get Uber Eats. I'm gonna be getting an Uber Eat after I've recorded this video because I've got no energy to cook. He just told Jesus. himself so badly because as it was revealed. Like I said, her instead of his. I've got to college, I've never been to a frat party. And they're right, yeah. He had only streamed 28 days in the last three months. Now, if that's his regular streaming schedule, that means that he only streams three days a week, leaving four days a week where he could cook easily. And don't right. give me the ADHD sob story. Be like a regular adult and take some Adderall. I do it. Vosh does it. Loads of other content creators have to do it because we're all ADHD brained as shit. How can you call yourself any kind of leftist when you've got an opinion like that? There's literally no excuse. Like, I don't even like making these arguments, but it's like honestly infuriating. It's like they made him up in a lab to be literally the worst socialist ever. Like he's literally everything that right wingers think socialists are. He literally said, oh, you know, I only work three days a week. I have four days off every week, but I can't cook. I'm too lazy to cook because uh, I have all these problems and shit that I made up. The last thing I'm going to say about this is that he's so obviously manipulative with how he frames things. If he really cared about the victim, which he believes is Lonnie, he would listen to her. Because in situations involving domestic abuse, you're supposed to listen to the victim. But instead of doing that, he continues, to this day, to double down on calling Xander Hall an abuser and making up lies about the situation even though Lonnie herself has commented on the video multiple times, saying it shouldn't have had as many views as it did, and that it was a dog shit video. But anyway, True. that's basically everything I have to say about the DJ Mule situation. Dude sucks, and he deserves worse than this, quite honestly. This video is probably going to get demonetized just like my last two videos did, so if you'd like to support the channel, you can subscribe to my Patreon for only- oh dollars a month love you all oh my gosh see you in the next video Uber is so expensive in america oh i don't know it's not super actually expensive in poland to be fair in poland it's pretty manageable okay let's look for another video as i try to make it in time to finish this quest i might fail it actually i i really hate the time-limited quests.